Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in this video, we are going to see how we can do group by and how we can use some function, like how we can add up the row values with the help of some function, okay? So for that, uh, I'm using the same syntax that we have used in the previous video. Let me open it up for you, okay. So we all have understood how we can uh, write up this particular syntax. If you uh, don't have idea about how to write this, I would suggest you to go check it out the previous video under this playlist link queries. So once after this is done, uh, we're good, right? So we could able to group uh, the elements, the rows into a particular group with the help of this and this. So let me take off this into quality right so okay this is my um monthly purchase sheet which is my input data table okay so let me remove the sheet two and sheet three so we can have our output here. So this is my input sheet, okay? So what I'm going to do here, I am going to segregate um, the, I'm going to group by actually, I'm going to group by with the help of, uh, let me apply the filters like how I have shown you. So I am having two columns under the group by, right? So rise, which is item description. And also I'm using the quantity criteria as well. So this is the whole one group that I will be getting. So what will be the sum of uh, all the items that I'm purchasing, right? That will be 21,114. So let's check it out how this is gonna work and how we will uh, you know, achieve this thing by using a link query. That's the whole thing, okay? So for that, okay, let me copy this exactly. I think I've given a wrong uh, header name. Okay, um, just a second. I didn't save it. Okay. Now I'm going to change the header and then say, okay. So now we have seen uh, what, how our required output should come. So I'm going to put a breakpoint here and debug. Anyways, we are going to write it in the sheet two, but it is in a different sheet, right? So step into, okay. So here I can check the values, right? So, okay. Are we going for the right sheet? Okay, so now, Let's write the query in order to see how we can do the sum, okay? So till now we have just seen how we are grouping it with respect to the uh, a group by function by using the multiple columns as a criteria. And also we are picking up the first element, right? We have to write the query that will fetch the sum of all the elements that are there in a particular column, okay? So for that, what I'm going to do, let me take off this. So till here, we are clear, right? And I'm going to select what I'm going to select and do. So for, from this data table, I'm going to add the rows. For that, I'm taking add function. So inside the add function, what I exactly want. So I want the uh, rows with item description. So I'm having A. So if you just observe here, these are the rows, right? That we are taking that we are declared as it as a A and then I want B and later the third column should be the sum of all the elements that I'm having it, right? So for that, I'm using sum function. So if this is similar, similar way how we have used for the where function and the uh, select function in the previous videos. So I'm going to declare function of X and X should be of type that, uh, column name that we are exactly picking it from the Excel, 
okay so that is of type integer right so what i'm going to do just convert this into an integer cool right so just close the brackets that we are having it right from the beginning and that's it we are going to copy this to a data table let me check what is the issue sum is either not declared or not in the scope Okay. Okay. So why this has come? Sum is not declared because so we have to provide the sum, right? But we wanted to take the group. group values and then we have to do the sum right so whatever the uh, um, values that we are getting in the group so those values uh, we have to pick and we have to group them so if you want i can just show you here right so as i already mentioned you uh, if you apply the filter so this is the rice and this is the quantity of for everything apply filter so rise and then we'll go with the one or we can go with three so this is one group right for this whole group whatever we are getting we are applying the sum function okay so this is 2700 or something of around that so and now what i'm going to do i think this uh, query is clear for you if you if you are not uh, understanding this let me know in the comment section i can explain you further more so what i'm going to do i have to write this into the same sheet which is monthly purchase sheet so let me copy this into monthly purchase sheet and sheet 2 okay so let me debug this file okay i'm going to do the step into and then step into okay and then i'll stop because i have some other code running there um so let's go refresh this and check this excel okay so under sheet 2 we have got the price value of the group uh, for the group rice with quantity 3 right we have cross checked these two things earlier which is exactly the same so this is how we can do the group by and how we can combine it with sum so i believe this is quite simpler way that we can do a uh, group by and there are multiple other ways as well but is just that you have to understand the syntax so that you can apply it for whatever the critical scenario you may encounter so and uh, now i'm going to talk about some of the uh, mostly you know encountering issues or you know the errors that we face while doing this actions so let's say i am going to have in this example we we have taken a b and c all the three uh, three columns let's consider but in future i don't want the quantity price or i don't want it to have this in my data table so what i have to do so if let's say if i delete this thing over here and say okay let's run this what it's going to happen we will see so if i do step into and if you see here in the dt group by we can still see the quant quantity uh, column that's coming up even though the values are not there we can see the quantity column so what i will do is in order to not have that column completely i'm going to create a new data table so it's a data table variable that i've created already so just create a data table variable and i will assign that value here so dt sum table and we have to do a slight modification in the query here because we are adding the details into this particular table correct so what are we doing from this particular table we are fetching the column a and column b and we are making them a group 
and for this table we are adding the rows with column a but i don't want column b i just want the sum so this is what i will change this to and then uh, here comes our result right so our result should go from dt sum table right so let's execute this and check how this works or if you're getting any errors or uh, how we can resolve that and all the things behind it okay so let me debug this file right i'm doing a step in so this is the thing if you observe it's showing object reference not set to an instance of an object so this is one of the most annoying error that i ever face so if i get this issue i have to run through whole code and debug and you know uh, i end up feeling that everything looks fine but still to understand how to fix this because this is something which we cannot have a you know perfect uh, like you know this is because of this we don't have that kind of solution so to fix this very quickly even though if you are an expert of uh, link queries it, it takes a little time to look into it right so let's see how we can fix this in a next video but yeah this this can be a quick fix i can say for uh, if you know this and keep this solution handy thank you so much for watching in order to not miss the solution for this do subscribe to my channel and you can have the video ready once after i upload Thank you so much for watching.